So let's talk about the S Pen for a few minutes. I have seven quick tips here for utilizing the S Pen. We're gonna go ahead and pop our pen out with our screen off. And when we do that, we go immediately into a handwriting mode. So it's quick and easy for us to get in here and take some notes and write and then quickly save. And we don't have to get into our phone. We don't have to open up any apps. We don't have to tap on anything. Our notes are just automatically put in and easy for us to access. And I could put the pen right back into the phone and go on with my day. It's a quick way to get notes and different things into your phone without having to jump into applications or deal with any of that stuff. Next, we're gonna talk about writing on a screenshot. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my pen out here and we're gonna get some options immediately. Now I could choose the smart select option really quickly just to take a screenshot of an area. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a box around this and now I have a screenshot of it. If I wanna draw on the screenshot, I tap on the pen and I can easily draw and annotate or mark up that screenshot. Very cool because a lot of times if you're trying to show somebody something or maybe there's a news article or something on social media that you wanna screenshot and draw a circle around or draw an arrow to it and send it to someone, very easy to do that. Now all we would need to do is click on that share icon and send that to someone very easily or just click the down arrow to save it to our phone. Now if I had a PDF that I wanted to mark up, it's extremely easy to do that with your S Pen. You simply open up the PDF and click on the pen icon right here and you have all of the different annotation options down below. I can then easily circle items, maybe cross a few out, uh, point an arrow to one in, in particular. I can use the highlighter to highlight an area. I can use the eraser, the selection tools, I can even add text. So I can easily mark up and annotate a PDF and then I can either save it or I can send it to someone really easily. Here's the share, here's the save. Very easy for me to get this sent out to somebody so that they can quickly make the changes needed. Annotating PDFs with the S Pen is super simple. Now, if you really like using your S Pen as a way to enter text instead of using the keyboard, you can do that and it's actually a lot of fun. So within a new text message, this is how you get the writing pad up. You tap on the icon here over the right, the little menu, and tap on handwriting. And you'll notice that you now have a handwriting pad there with a couple of helpful items over to the side. So I can start to write in. And now instead of typing everything in, I can handwrite everything in. And you can typically do this in pretty much any application that has text entry. So whether you're doing a text message, you're writing a tweet in Twitter, posting something to social media, you just simply tap on that menu icon that I showed you. To go back to your regular keyboard, just tap on the keyboard. And then of course you can easily get back to that setting right here under handwriting and start writing again jumping into the keyboard when you need to. Pretty cool feature. Now, if you use your S Pen a lot and you fear leaving it somewhere, it's easy to actually go in and set a notification so that you don't do that. Go into Advanced Features, S Pen, and turn on Pen Proximity Alert. With Pen Proximity Alert turned on, if you leave your S Pen somewhere and walk away from it, you will get a notification on your phone telling you that the S Pen is not in your phone and that will notify you to go back and get it. S Pen Anywhere actions can be kind of useful, especially if you're sitting at a table with a couple of other people and you wanna be able to control your phone easily without touching the phone. To set these things up, swipe down from the top and go to your settings, go to Advanced Features and S Pen, and then swipe down and then choose Air Actions. You'll see a list of Air Actions right here. Now to make Air Actions work, you'll need to have your S Pen out and you utilize this action in the air with your S Pen while holding the button down on the side. So for example, if I have my S Pen out like this, pull my pen out and we'll just go into an app. So say I'm on a web browser and I'm uh, looking at articles or something like that and then I decide I wanna go home, I can hold down the button and do an action and it's going to take me home. Or if I wanted to do back, I can do the other action. So you have to commit those actions to mind, but once you have them memorized, it's easy to navigate your phone using your S Pen. Smart Select is one of my favorite features on the Note. Of course, if you are sharing memes or taking screenshots or making GIFs or whatever you wanna do, Smart Select makes it so much easier to do that. To get 
get to Smart Select and utilize it in the most fun way on your note, use your S Pen and then tap on Smart Select. You have different selection options here. By default, you have your kind of square or rectangle crop. So it's very easy for me to just simply tap and drag and create a screenshot easily that I can then mark up. I can extract the text from it uh, or I could just share it really easily or save it to my phone. Very cool. I love that Smart Select option. But there are some neat things that Smart Select does that most other phones don't do. Another smart selection feature that I really like is pin to screen. A lot of times I take a screenshot because I just need it temporarily as I go from one app to another. The pin to screen feature will automatically select something that's prominent in the screen, which may be exactly what you wanted to select in the first place. And then you can reposition it if you'd like. And once you've repositioned it, hit pin to screen. Now, as I go throughout my phone and utilize another app, the screenshot stays there and I can move it around the screen as I need to. And then when I'm done with it, I can either choose to get rid of it or minimize it or I can download it and save it. But since I don't need it, I'll just tap on the X and it goes right away. No more do I now have to also go into my photo library and delete the image there. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that you found some useful tips. If you want a much more deep dive into utilizing your Note 20, then definitely check out my course. The course is gonna help you learn everything that there is to know about the Note 20 so you can utilize it as the device that it was intended to be for you, more as a productivity device, a getting things done, take better photos, just overall understand this powerful device that you have in your pocket so you can utilize it to its fullest. Click the link down in the description below to get it for $5. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for checking it out. I hope that you enjoyed it. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel here if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I have part two coming soon, so make sure to click that subscribe button, and we'll see you back in the next video. Take care.